Elements in a story that we first broke at 4 o'clock. A woman's body found inside a truck in a Walmart parking lot. Investigators say that she had been there for days, and we now know that it was her boyfriend who reported her missing. Her body was found off Highway 146 and I 10 in Baytown. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez has uncovered new details in the moments leading up to that discovery and is joining us now live from the scene there. Kathy, it is pretty disturbing. Good evening, Dominique. It is certainly disturbing. That's what customers here are saying as well. Tonight, we talked to her boyfriend's father, who actually owns the truck that was found here in this Walmart parking lot. He says that woman was going to babysit before she went missing. I find it really crazy. Deputies find a 24 year old woman's body in this silver pickup truck sitting in a Walmart parking lot in Baytown Wednesday. They say it had been there for two days. I don't know how no one could notice her. The owner of the truck is her boyfriend's father. That father talked to KPRC Channel 2 News, saying the woman told his son she was going to babysit. His son called her, but didn't hear from her for two days. He reported her missing to police on Sunday. The couple that had been on and off for two years moved to Baytown a week ago. They used the father's silver truck to move furniture to their new home. Now it's at the center of a homicide investigation. At this time, we have no uh, blunt trauma force. We don't have any physical injuries. Um, there are some things that are very suspicious. She was uh, partially dressed. Walmart surveillance video shows the woman in the store early Monday morning leaving and getting into the truck, but she never actually left. And the car has stayed here in the parking lot. Same same parking spot? Not the same spot. Many questions remain. Still, shoppers who frequent this Walmart on Highway 146 and I-10 say it's disturbing. I hope they find out what happens. Yeah, I was actually afraid to come here by myself right now. I hope the family is getting more answers. And investigators have not yet released that woman's identity. Reporting live in Baytown, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank